Hi, I'm Sarah Mills. And I'm Miss Myers. And, and we are Mid City Mavericks. For the past 24 years, I've been a teacher in the Davenport Community School District. I've been teaching at Mid City High School for the last two years since it was established. Uh, I am a science teacher. Uh, at Mid City High School and I teach chemistry, forensic science, and just this quarter started an uh, environmental science class. Probably my most favorite class at Mid City is the environmental uh, class that we have. It's more of a urban farm project and it's not a traditional classroom. It's more hands-on and learning how to farm and learning about the environment and how everything impacts one another. We have winter wheat and winter rye in our two uh, like 100 by 100 plots. Uh, what we planted out back right behind the doors are herbs, onions, and garlic strawberries. Pretty much everything that we figured would get other kids involved and try new food. Last July, um, we had speakers from the Buck Institute come and speak to teachers at the school and other teachers in the district about project-based learning, um, PBL. And what that is, it's more of a hands-on, a real world dynamic approach to learning where students are presented with a problem um, and through research and critical thinking and collaboration and planning they come up with um, resolution to the problem. So uh, as a science team we decided to focus on the, the pollinator slash bee crisis. We had decided that why should we stick with flowers? Bees love the flowers that um, fruits and vegetables produce too, cherry blossoms, tomato plants, and we decided that what we really needed to do was to um, enlarge the small garden that we'd already started and it, by the time we got in through the front door we had decided to make a farm. I couldn't really understand where everything wanted to be placed because I'm more of a visual person. So what I did is I went on Google Maps and I found out where our property was and I screenshot an aerial view of it so I could uh, place things accordingly to where I think that they do best at. Every week I look at the plants and I try and write a new login if the plant looks different, it has a new leaf or how tall it's getting. I also have a log of when we planted our plants that we have under the grow lights inside a classroom. Whatever we take, we try and make something out of it so it gets the students more excited about trying new things like new vegetables and what you can make such as salsa and then bread. So getting them involved in the class will get them more exposed to trying new things and then it'll also hopefully excite them more about planting their own vegetables and fruit at home. We're preparing bread and pumpkin bread and pumpkin pies um, because a, a lot of students haven't really experienced fresh or a lot of different foods. When I asked, you know, who likes parsley buttered potatoes? My students hadn't even tried that, so we got some potatoes and we picked some parsley butter potatoes and I said, if we had potatoes here at the farm, would you take this home and cook it? They're like, yeah, well, of course we would. So we're trying to get a lot of students involved um, by showing them different ways to prepare deliciously, especially vegetables. My personal goal for this class and for the students is hopefully we have enough yield to make a big giant Thanksgiving dinner because a lot of students here might not have that luxury to like sit down and socialize with people that are close to them and for me I just would love to see everyone get together. Hopefully we have uh, more produce that we can hopefully sell at a mid-city market or even down at the farmers market so we can have some money to spend on this project so we can keep it going ourselves and not have to rely on donations. Every once in a while as a teacher you'll get that really wonderful moment where things just kind of click and you see that the kids get it. A couple of weeks ago um, we had just gotten done planting some of our seeds and we came back the next day and the kids said well you know there's, we have more pots left. And I said well what do you think we should plant? And they said well we should do tomatoes and peppers. And I said, okay. And I sat down to take attendance and when I looked up, they were all just working, you know. And, um, and so they were just working on their own. We had three people and, and, and I was watching them and three students were deciding what kind of tomatoes that they would plant. 
you know, what they were going to serve them in. Would they like cherry tomatoes for salad? So we should have this type of tomato. Sarah was cataloging and logging some of the you know, information about the seeds that we had planted the day before. Uh, um, they decided that they would split up into the tomato planters and the pepper planters. And in an hour and a half, they asked two questions. And it's kind of like, you know, when you're a parent and you're watching your children and they're just, everything's just working and gelling. And it was just wonderful. You know, it's, it's, it's why people that teach, teach. Yeah.